Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 12 of my Manchester United Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. And here, things are going from bad to worse. You know, last episode towards the end was translisting players. One of them, yeah, one of them being Rooney. Uh, in short, just to overview, I basically told him he wasn't... Oh, first, I told him he was disruptive and not a positive influence as captain. Well, in the dressing room, but same thing. Um, yeah, he's not positive, and also he's not scoring enough goals for us, which is true. That's not like an excuse putting on a transfer list or whatever. Um, he's not outputting three goals, 13 games. It's not enough for a guy of his worth. Who's he wanted by, though, now? Oh, he's wanted by Chelsea. That would be an interesting move. Wouldn't be the first time, would it? But, yes. It would be a nice way to get some money, and maybe then I'll have to think with the signing. I have to really think. I have to yeah, spend it and spend it wisely on a big play that's going to impact the team for a positive reason as well. But now the squad are unhappy with that. So we'll hold a team meeting and see what goes down. And at this point, I'm really... When I get into a game, you might notice in the last maybe couple episodes, I'm not sure if my moods change or something like... I just get really into it and get... Definitely, I get frustrated with what's happening with it. I'm not sure if you like that or not, but it's it's what happened. We've got 19 players in attendance. What do they have to say? They don't have... what? what are, uh, I'm going to say cautiously. I'm going to say, right. I've heard that some of you... Unhappy with how I've dealt with Wayne Rooney's issues recently. Can one of you explain what you feel I've done wrong? And please, so we can nip this in the bud so that last time as well. Okay. Carrick. It said, there's been some concern amongst the squad that you're trying to force Wayne Rooney out of the club. And we really feel you should be doing all you can to keep him here. But he's not performing. Okay. Where does it say that? It says, I don't think he's good enough to be part of the team or this team. He's limited in the number of areas. Nah, that's not really it. Not that. No. I'm going to, getting fed up. Um, oh my god, what do I say? Yes, to strengthen the squad, assertive. Uh, this is what I'll say. I think it's the best thing to do for the team right now. His departure will allow us more flexibility to strengthen the squad. Who? If you think it's good for the team, then we'll give you the benefit of the doubt and hope you're right. Van Persie, thank you. And everyone agrees with that, yeah? Passionate. I think that was very productive. It's good to have it all sorted out. Thanks, guys. But the morale is still dead. Holy hell. Look at that morale. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I really do not like this. Look at the morale. I hate that. I'm almost... No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hate morale. That's why I do everything in my power to fix it. Oh, come on. But definitely one thing I have to do is captains and take Rooney off. And just bring the yeah, Van Persie up. Yep, yeah, it says it can affect the morale of the old captain. Doesn't matter. The morale is already dead. It doesn't matter. Phil Jones, bring him up to there. And that's it. I'm not sure who else. Maybe, yeah, Blind will just come there as another captain. Well, he's there already. Maybe, yeah, Johnny, Ev oh, Johnny Evans is already there. Um, small and I'll put him trying to list. There's not many ideal candidates. Those guys, are, like Van Persie will play most games. Jones will. Evans and Blind. So, that's good enough. So... Rooney is wanted by Chelsea. Let's try and offer him to clubs for 30 million. We'll see what that happens with that. Um, Smalling as well, he's wanted. See, Smalling hasn't made a big deal about it. We could offer him to Southampton. Um, I'll, I'll vote you, yeah, 12 million. If we can get that for him, I'd be happy. Is anyone else wanted? De Gea, of course, yeah, the other one. I might as well try to offer him, offer to clubs. Just below his value, put 19 million. And we'll see if we get offers for that. Oh my god, it's again. Smalling speaks out against manager. Uh, it says, Chris Smalling today spoke out on behalf of his teammates who expressed 
their concern for how little time Wayne Rooney was given to prove himself as a Manchester United captain. Yeah, of course. Smalling said to change the captain so quickly after being named. But who cares? You're getting sold anyway. You're not even good. You're not even good, mate. You were given an opportunity by Fulham. And you played, what, 13 games for them. And no idea what Manchester United saw in you. It's definitely, yeah, I'm surprised. So, yeah, I think you should go back to where you started. Yeah, I'm just going to accept whatever. I'm I'm just going to take whatever money I get. Um, he's unsettled at the club and he's causing problems. So, just, just get lost. And, yeah, of course, there's no offers. Uh, for Rooney, uh, De Gea as well. Maybe it's... A, I'm offering around their value. Why Why aren't they interested? Like, I don't get it. It's not like I'm offering over their price unreasonably or something. Let's go tactics. The morale is dead almost. There's some players that's really happy and some are down. It's hard. Can we go for a team meeting? Where do we go for that? Yeah, team meeting here. Uh, assertively... I'm keen to ensure that our heads don't drop. Things haven't been going uh, our way. And we've got the ability in the squad to change our fortunes. These team... I didn't... Huh? Who's this name? That's no one. We haven't even... Hardly had any, have we? I don't know. I'm just trying to improve the morale whatever way I can. Yanazai, at least he's progressing. I almost feel like holidaying till January. But I know I shouldn't do that. No. He's a negative influence. I'm going to manage this club the way I want to. Thank you very much. Okay, FA Cup third round draw. Who are we going to be playing against? At least we'll find this out. Uh, Ipswich Championship. Not too bad. We should win there. Oh, yes, finally, I'm able to sell a player. Thank you. Smalling, I'm just going to speak. I'm going to... What are we going to say to him? Uh, no, he hasn't been a fantastic servant. That option shouldn't even be there, if I'm honest. What are we, I'm sorry to see you go, but we need to sell you while we still can, just to piss him off, yeah? It's a shame to leave. I've had a good time here, yeah. See ya. Bye. <laughs> have a nice time at Southampton. So here we are. We've got a game against Everton. And I think uh, because I just went through that um, off-field stuff uh, to the start of this episode, I'm only going to show, yeah, the one game. And the Middlesbrough game is Capital One Cup. So I think I'll just play through that privately, at the Middlesbrough one. And then I'll get to, yeah, back to Swansea, Crystal Palace um, in the following episode. Uh, because uh, my mood is kind of dropping for this save right now. Uh, because it's not just because results haven't gone my way. Uh, so it's not just because I'm not going well. It's because the the morale and stuff. Actually, morale is getting up a bit after yeah, actually doing some managerial things like letting go of some players or putting on a transfer list, talking to my team. It's it, it's at least fixing it somewhat. Uh, Smalling, you're gone. Never again part of this team. Belanta, maybe Belanta. That's a reason why things haven't gone well. Is he that good? Because he was doing really well and he got an injury. Uh, Rooney out as well, bring uh, James Wilson, these kind of players, uh, Smalling and uh, Rooney are not going to see, and the only reason De Gea is playing because we don't have any other goalkeeper, if Lindegaard was fit, I'd actually want to play him now, so yeah, heaps of differences are going to happen uh, from now on, yeah, Carrick, I'm going to leave him in, he's been, uh, I don't know, bring Witzel maybe, come on, Di Maria, we need our stars, we need stars on the pitch, definitely, uh, lucky Everton haven't been going well either, so it's going to give us a chance. Will Hughes, let's drop out, ooh, drop out Carrick. Now, actually, I'm going to give Will Hughes a chance. He's going to be future of the club, definitely. Look at this improving. Oh, he's starting to look decent now. He's got his first 16 attribute, which is passing. That's great. And I think that'll be it. Uh, defense, where's Rafael? Yeah, Rafael injured. Oh, there's not much I can do. There's not... Ooh. I'm kind of thinking about something here. I'm not sure if I should do it. Like, John Stones. Nah, i got to leave him. Come on, Belanta. Let's go. 
We need to show something. We're still in a pretty good position, <laughs> especially if we win this game. Southampton's fourth, actually. See, Chelsea, Arsenal, we're still ahead of them, but if we don't get the points here, we may not be. Like I said, lucky Everton's doing fairly poorly. Uh, Eto, we will close him down. Ross Barkley, tight mark. And how good is Morales in the game? Yeah, pretty dangerous, actually. Pacey will close him down. Show him to weaker foot. Even Eto, show him to weaker foot. Okay, let's go. This is a big game here, big game. We'll go assertive. Do it for the fans. Come on, lads. This could be, again, a game where it turns around. And we're still holding a decent position in the league. Third. It's not too bad. But we need to get this win here. Against Everton. Oh, here we go. Di Maria. Yes. Yes. Come on. First goal for Manchester United ever. For Di Maria. Has finally come. Ooh, we don't need guys that drop the morale in the team. Well, of course, like I said, De Gea has to be, but guys like Rooney, I feel, I really do feel he's a negative influence. It's he's all about himself. Come on, this is better. This is better. Come on, we need to defend this though. Well done, Stones. Go, Falcao. Come on. Mata, Di Maria, Quadrado, it's two. Come on, lads. Yes! Yes! There we go. That is what I want to see. This is fantastic stuff. This is fantastic stuff. Quadrado, what a finish. What a finish. Before people may start saying he's a waste of money. He shows some signs here. And look at that. Yeah, a Belanta comes in and he and makes um, a forces an injury for the opponent. So that's what he does. The big beast himself, Alvarez Belanta. Come on. Can we get another? Di Maria. Falcao. Van Persie. Oh. Almost three. Jones. See. Well done there. Falcao. Get past. Falcao. Di Maria. Oh. It came to him quickly. But we are performing well. We are performing really well. You can see Di Maria. He's been a good player in this game. He's When he's confident. When Di Marie is happy, he's really, really good. Okay. Assertive. Now, i gotta, I got to give credit to them. i got to just tell them they've played well for morale purposes. And we're two ahead. We shouldn't drop it from here, especially playing at home. In front of the uh, huge crowd at home. In front of the fans. Come on, Rojo. Oh, come on, what's this? Oh, oh, this defense led by De Gea. Why did he go up? Why couldn't he stay back? What was that defending? Who's that? Belanta. Oh, it's just a mix-up. De Gea, what are you doing? I can't wait to get rid of you, if I'm honest. You'll think in January teams will start to make offers. You would think. Um, yeah, take Belanta off. He just needed that match fitness. So we'll bring on Evans. Uh, Van Persie actually hasn't had a good game. So we'll bring on Wilson here. Again, put him in a more suitable role. Uh, put Falcao uh, complete forward in support. And who else hasn't had a good game? Hmm. Yeah, Will Hughes. Just got to give him chances. Herrera? No, we'll bring Blind in. He's really good defensively. So bring him in there, and uh, how well has Marta done? Uh, not the best, and he's 76 condition. We'll bring in... Oh, I know, Depay. Oh, I can't make any more subs. I was going to get some Di Maria, but I guess that's it then. There we go. Johnny Evans, I have faith in you. James Wilson, pressure is off. Uh, Daily Blind. I have faith in you. Okay, looked happy. We have to get the three points here. Come on. We had a very good first half. Don't let it slip away. We cannot let it slip away. 
And even Barkley's injured. Blind, come on, tackle. Oh, well done, Jones. Well done. Go, Wilson. Go. Oh, <laughs> come on. He tried to go it alone, but he doesn't have the quality. Jones again. Jones is a really good defender. He intercepts real well. Go, Wilson. This is good stuff. Falcao. Play it. Or go back. <laughs> Rojo. Oh, Quadrado, finish it. Oh, could have been finished. Wow. That was so close. Come on. Well defended, Johnny Evans. That was a good defending. Come on, tackle again. Blind. No, didn't quite get it back. Oh, De Gea, what a save. That was a save. That was a real good save. Okay, what's going to happen here? We need to hold on or finish it off. Either one is what I want. Oh, Falcao, yes! Yes, we've got the win. Come on. Come on. Oh, so much pressure off here. Whew. Three points is ours here. Good interception. Well, it was a poor pass. And Falcao, that doesn't really look like Falcao, but it's, it's a good finish. And we've got it. We have got it. We might get another here, actually. There's time. Wilson... Oh, he's got confidence, though. That's the positive sign. And we've got this, yes, 3-1 victory. Nice. That is good. That is real good. Passionate. I'm very happy with that. Look at that. Everyone delighted. That is what I want to see. And we hold. We did have to win that as well. We did have to win it. Chelsea could have leaped us. That is what we want to see. And, yeah, like I said, that will be the only game... Of this episode because yeah I'll just play that Capital One Cup privately because I don't feel like I want to show that because yeah I'm not really interested to play that I'm just really I want to focus on the league right now um, get what I need to I'll, but I'll play through I'll continue to there and see if we get any messages of kinds like offers of players like whatever we'll see uh, yeah or Belanta yeah yellow card limit he'll be suspended or oh, Valdez oh Valdez Valdez is not at a club. How didn't I know this? How didn't I know this? I could just get for free, yeah? Will he want to join? Yes. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Whoa, he wants so much money though. Sign on fee, maybe drop it down a bit, like to 1 million? Ugh, he'll probably want a bit more though. 2.5? Qualifying for Champions Cup. Unused sub, he'll never be the sub, so I'll put that a bit higher. Appearance fee, yeah, put it up a bit more, maybe 26k. Yeah, a bonus for a clean sheet, because, yeah, if we do get that, it will be a benefit for the team. 33 again. Uh, winning the FA Cup, put that a bit higher. Wage, yeah, obviously that's high as possible. Please accept. Ah, uh, he's going to want a lot of cash. Maybe 4 million, and we can try and... Team of the year. He surely won't get that. At least this season. At the very least. And what's... Oh, I'll put that down. Yes! Whew. We've got a replacement for free. Oh, that's going to be so much money saved, isn't there? And I can spend that elsewhere. But he's 32. But, yeah, 32 is not bad for a goalkeeping age. Like, he could play maybe up to 35 or something. So, that's okay. And hopefully, I can just pray for a youth goalkeeper coming through in the youth intake for us. That will be ideal, really. And, yeah, he's still got good ratings. I'm happy with that. And hopefully, he does accept. And would that mean he joins right now? I want to see if he... Yeah, I'll just use, yeah, defending on set pieces for that... Yes! Yes, we've got him. Oh, he's going to go in January. That's fine. That's fine. At least we've got him. We've got him, yep. Except we've got Valdez. Leave your thoughts on that to replace De Gea. We've got experienced goalkeeper for Barcelona. Come from Barcelona. A free transfer. International for Spain as well. Played a lot of times, like 21 times. You've got to be good to play for Spain. So he's solid. 
he's solid. And maybe, yeah, uh, money we get in next season, we can go for a young, high-potential guy. Um, and, yeah, you, like, you think he'll be good. That high-potential guy will be good in about three or four years when, yeah, Valdez is maybe getting a bit older. That's perfect. And now all there's left is to sell De Gea and make the profit off of that. And, yeah, we could sign maybe a huge striker or something. If we, like, sell Rooney, sell De Gea, pool, who knows? Who knows all that money we can use on yeah, we can use on him. So I'll keep offering him to clubs. Like, I wouldn't mind just getting 18 mil. Because, yeah, we're not really getting offers right now. And, yeah, that's the today's match. So I won't get that right now. You would imagine anyway. So, yeah, he's going to join 1st January. Perfect. Perfect for uh, Valdez. Good signing. So that is it, really. Um, it's a big episode. A bit different episode as well. Uh, normally a show a couple games, but this time... Yeah, transfer listed some players at the start, all the different situations with them as well. Uh, play the game against Everton, a decent win uh, to get morale up. And now signing Victor Valdez on a free transfer. Fantastic stuff. And yeah, hopefully if we do sell Rooney and De Gea in the transfer, yeah, January transfer window, yeah, uh, we may have some decent cash to sign on one big money one but one big money transfer like a striker and let's see who it could potentially be because don't forget Falcao is leaving next season and Van Persie's getting older Van Persie will still be quality though um if you go to Van Persie he look he's only if anything he's improving it says his technique's going down but it's still 20 so it's not actually going down and all these other ones going up like who he's 31 okay I just want to look a uh, potential striker maybe for around 50 mil and say you get about uh, 25 to 30 million for Rooney, around maybe 15 to 18 for De Gea. So now we just go to strikers and see who's available to join. Like the best, highest value. Interest, like you get someone. Hmm. I feel as though it's not showing the best strikers in the world for some reason. Like, if you take away unrealistic transfers, <laughs> yeah, all these big players, yeah, uh, from big teams. But who would you go for? Who would you go for? I suppose that kind of situation will be yeah, remain to be seen. Hmm. If you get big money, who would you go for? Who would you go? Maybe a Lukaku, who'll be at least he'd want to come to the team because Everton's doing really poorly. He's got potential to be a star striker in the Premier League. Uh, could be an interesting one, but yeah, leave your thoughts. Um, if I do go through with that Sal Rooney and Sal De Gea, who should I use that big money on? If you have any suggestions, drop in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time.